there guys so uh, this is the second part of our video so the first part i've already published it to youtube you can just check it in the video description uh there's useful information there where i explain the snippet code and showing you the demo and stuff right um so this is the subscription activity you can go to my repository you will see that i have the same activity right here so unfortunately i won't be able to show you everything that is being written here i do have a guide or a video you can just come and watch this video here or this one right here so you know how to implement the subscription so i just want to focus on the upgrade and downgrade of our subscription this part here um so let's jump into the code so what you need the most is the product details list this product details list is going to hold our products that are coming from google play console right so we also have to get the the offer token so the offer token is going to come from this list then we also have a product ids array this product ids array is going to hold our product ids that we just generated from our google play console right so to get this list from google play console we are using a function called show products so once the connection is successful then we have a function called show products this function it's taking um the product ids right so we can define uh three four five products that you need so in my case i only have two products right so we are passing the list to the params we set the list here and then we query the details from google play so google play is going to return a list to us so this list is going to be the two products that we defined here then we are adding this product list that are returned from google play into our product details array list right and so since we have got this list now we'll be able to get the offer token right so to get the offer token i have a function called upgrade or downgrade so the function is accepting a dynamic product id a dynamic product id simply means that this function is going to accept um, different product ids so if we are upgrading we're going to accept a monthly product id if we are downgrading we are going to accept a weekly um, product id so to get started we need to alter it through our product details list right so we need we need a for loop so we need to create a new object of product details then from this list product details list right so this list is the list that we just added these products that are coming from google play so it's this list right here so since we have got uh, since we have created an object of products then we need to get the product id then we need to check if it's the same as the one that we are passing from our function which is dynamical right so in this case we're going to pass in our product id of monthly this one this is the future subscription right we're going to pass it here this is gonna be the dynamic function dynamic product id so then this list is going to contain two products then we are checking if these product um details get the product id is the same as that then this one is going to loop two times since we we have two products here then it's going to loop two times or so in a second loop this if statement is going to be true right so meaning we have uh the product details of the weekly i mean the monthly subscription yes um so since we have got that we can go back to the website and copy this snippet code and then paste it here just like that then we can just import the missing classes there you go then the proration mode also then we don't need to have this part here because this one it's handled by our 
initialization right here with this one it's handled by this one so it's going to get a, a list of purchases and then verify the purchase right so we can just summary remove this then we also don't have to check the billing results so you can remove that and leave it like that then this one is just a spelling mistake at the t there then the selected offer token remember this one we are getting the offer token from our product details this object right here and then from this object we get the uh the subscription offer details so we just need to remove the selected um index offer there and then we just need to say from this list get from zero so if you have multiple offers in into your um, your subscription then you'll be able to pass one or two depending on your offer so i only have one offer in my product details of uh subs i mean monthly subscription so you just need to hover over this and assert this and check if it's not null to get rid of that warning there right so the same product details is the one that we are passing here along with our offer a uh, token so we are done with our offer token then now we need to move over to our purchase token so our old purchase token we can get it from our verify purchase the verify purchase this function is called whenever the user is done subscribing or buying your in a purchase product right so in this case it's a subscription so once they subscribe to your subscription this function is going to be called on the initialization um, function up here right so once you purchase this thing is going to listen this thing is going to listen and call this function and pass in the list of all the purchases right so these purchases it contains the purchase token right here so we are saying go to the billing client and acknowledge the payment so acknowledging the payment means that yes google we are aware of this purchase just mark it uh paid or delivered right so this is where we are setting the the subscription one it means that this person has the subscription right they are premium users then i'm using a shared preference right here right so i'm getting the purchase token which is coming from this object of purchases and then i'm passing it there and then i'm saving it into this um, purchase token uh, key using the shared preference right so to write that into our function we need to say shared preference and get string remove this string right here and pass in that purchase token so now we are done with our function of upgrade and downgrade right so this function is complete all right so about these functions are uh, being deprecated it means that uh, there's a function that is uh, released so there's currently a new version of 6.0.0 .0. so i'll update this one in my next video and explain what are the changes what did they add what did they fix uh, anything that is in the new version right so um there's one thing that i want to show you which is this design here which is my bottom sheet design you have been seeing it in my application let me just log in here okay so now i'm logged in uh, what i want to show you is whenever i click manage subscription is going to bring up this bottom sheet right this is the bottom sheet that i have here so i've got that text here which is going to indicate which subscription i'm subscribed to then i've got manage subscription which this one is a linear layout whenever i click here it's going to take me to play store and manage my subscription 
and then there's two linear layout here about upgrade and downgrade subscription so this is what you need to know so that you will see what i'm going to explain now so this one is total up to you it's my logic so you can come up with your own logic to handle the pattern of upgrade and downgrade all right so um i've got a function here which is going to show the bottom sheet whenever i click this function which is being called in my on create yes this is the um the text the text view of money subscription once i click that it's going to show the bottom sheet which is this one right here then there's this means then um what is inside my bottom sheet is just a little logic here then i'm finding the linear layout by by id and uh here then i'm checking if the user is subscribed if the user is subscribed what i am checking is the purchased product id if the put the purchase product id is equals to zero it means that this product id is the weekly uh, subscription then i need to take the upgrade linear layout to visible right and take the downgrade linear layout to invisible which is this part here now um by default both of them they are disabled or they are invisible or gone because i don't have any subscription that is subscribed now so these product id is coming from my shared preference so i'm saving these ones from the verify purchase you see here this is the product id i'm saving it here then once i come here in the if statement it's going to do its stuff and that right so else if i don't have any subscription it's going to put everything to invisible and write the current text to no subscription which is this one right so this if statement is going to check if the managed sub is not equals to null then it's going to take me to google play and manage my subscription which is basically this text here once i click here it's going to take me to google play as you can see right it's going to load and show me my subscriptions yes so don't worry about that it was someone else so yep um uh now so as you can see let me just subscribe to a weekly subscription now so to explain this part here So since now i'm subscribed to a weekly subscription then now it's going to show me the upgrade linear layout right the upgrade linear layout when i click manage subscription it's going to show the upgrade linear layout then once i click the upgrade linear layout here it's going to call this function that we just um, created now upgrade or downgrade and pass in the product id of index one which is monthly right once i click here it's going to call this function right here and pass in the monthly uh product id and do its stuff and come and launch the purchase flow right here then now i can just click um continue so before I continue, let me just go and manage subscription so that you'll see that this thing, it does change, right? So we are subscribed to a weekly subscription, as you can see right here, right? We are subscribed to a weekly subscription, which is this one. And then once I go to the app, and then I say upgrade subscription. my app is very very slow sorry about that and then confirm subscribe mm. 
and then reload the screen and activate the monthly subscription subscribed updated it means that it, it has updated it in the firebase then whenever i go to manage subscription go to play store now i should be able to see that i'm subscribed to a monthly subscription there you go i'm subscribed to a monthly subscription yep yeah that is it guys so consider subscribing liking the video it mean it would mean a lot to me so you can also restore the application yeah so um so basically if you need this code of this demo you can just come to buy source code then once you buy this source code you'll have the same demo with you then you'll be able to take the code and implement them in your application right so yeah this is a lifetime purchase you'll receive lifetime updates so i'll update the code again and again and again thank you for watching bye for now time to play fortnite